All right, what up guys? Good morning and happy Thanksgiving break. Especially for those of you guys still in school, we finally have the week off and it's a much needed rest. Um, today we're gonna be moving like up the list and to the left in terms of the Cool Grease um, pomade reviews. So that means we're going to the pomades that are harder, which they mean stronger and more matte. So today we'll be talking about Cool Grease Z Ultra Hard. So basically I would like to kind of do the harder pomades that I like this weekend. Well, that's what I hope. And I'll move on to the really, really hard pomades that they offer next week. But the reason why I want to push those off are because like they're pretty different. They actually harden up. They actually kind of dry. And so I kind of want to separate um, these pomades that still stay malleable throughout the whole day versus those pomades that actually start resembling the American water-based pomades where they actually dry up and crust up and kind of start looking like or feeling like a gel. Um, without much else to say, we'll go ahead and start looking at the product and we'll go from there. Alright, so this is the pomade. This is Cool Grease Z Ultra Hard. And so we see a slightly different design work um, here with this jar. It has a white, like, well, a grayish white finish. A very, like, what's the word for it? Like, Toy Story Zerg design to it. That's what I get from it. And this is still a water based product, still the same size jar. I believe it's an 87 gram jar. And overall, like, it's pretty simple appearance, like nothing too loud or whatever. So this thing smells exactly like high chews. You guys ever heard of high chews? They're basically the Japanese version of Starburst, and they're actually a lot better. They taste a lot better. They're a lot more like fruity, slightly sweeter, and just overall just straight up much better. And this thing smells exactly like high chew, the strawberry one. Because it has it like, like a milky fruitiness to to it, and it tastes like, well, it smells really good, and I'm really tempted to eat it, but obviously, don't eat this. Um, as a hair product, though, do I really want to smell like high chews? I don't know. However, just like the uh, products before, the scent goes away and pretty fast. So scooping it out, you guys notice, really easy. It has like a, a weird um, texture to it, really similar to the formula X and Y. I hope you guys watched that review from quite a while ago now. By the way, it applies really easily. And it's nice because this pomade actually provides a good amount more uh, strength and hold than the red and blue ones we've been trying. And for the pomade to still apply this easily, it's really nice. In comparison to like the American water-based products we've tried, Suavecito, Bonafide, mm, Admiral, and Boulevard Nights, obviously you don't get that locking in feature, which is good to some extent but it's like only like a notch less hold than these those other products so it's a quite formidable like water-based pomade plus it stays like malleable come on like that's pretty damn good So yeah, my hair is actually pretty long now, but I already have an appointment with the Baxter Finley shop down in LA uh, for Tuesday. So I held off until then to get a haircut, but it'll be nice to finally get a haircut again. All right, and so with the product all applied, we'll go ahead and slick everything back. As you can kind of tell right now, like the comb's moving through like really easily. 
even though this product does have a good hold, like it's still easy to work with. And that's something I really admire and something I really re respect out of it. And with that done, we'll go ahead and start forming the part. Yeah, this pomade has a really nice feel to it right now. And after trying out a few of the other like heavier pomade throughout the whole week before I reviewed it this weekend, like definitely Cool Grease Z was one of my more preferred products. Because it's a really nice balance between like the hold I need versus like maintaining that restyle ability and that malleability and really just not having too much hold. Definitely some of you guys will have to use uh, much stronger pomades, but still, this pomade is great, a great balance between like hold and the other characteristics of a pomade. All right. So with the part form, side slick back, go ahead and start forming like the pump itself. All right, we'll go ahead and call that done. And for the sake of the review, go ahead and move on. Um, like my sides are slicked back, like real nice. Um, it's not like super tucked away. If I use like a super strong like gel pomade such as like um, Suavecito or something, but for the cool grease line, this is held back real nice. Um, the part is made hard, sharp, and straight. And the pump height is about average with a little bit of balance actually probably did a bad job applying the product today a little bit too much on top not enough underneath um the balance characteristics are still strong with this cool grease um the cool grease z but the hold does make it a much more manageable product um overall like the pom the pompadour looks nice everything should be pretty clean tucked away and just nice overall um, i am in a rush this morning gotta head out right now so I'll go ahead, come back, and talk a little bit more about like the endurance, the restylability, all the other characteristics, and kind of um, bring back to any other um, characteristics in terms of styling that I, I forgot to bring up now. So other than that, have a good rest of your guys' Saturday, and I'll see you guys again. All right, so I'm back now. It's like midnight. I'm tired, but it's been a long day, which means it's been a good test for the product. Um, Right now, the Cool Grease Z feels really light in my hair. It definitely stayed malleable throughout the whole day. As you can tell, no crusting up, yet there's still products, still workable, still restylable. So like thumbs up, like definitely between the red, the blue, and the Cool Grease Z, this one would actually currently replace my red and stand as my favorite from the Cool Grease line right now because it stays malleable. It's also a little bit um, stronger than the red. Um, the shine, which wasn't much to begin with it was kind of just like it didn't take away shine from like the natural sheen of my hair so that's good and it kind of stays that way it still has like a it still has like a product product in my hair look rather than making my hair look super dry or, or something like that so i like it um you will have to restyle um your hair throughout the day because this is a malleable product it doesn't dry it doesn't lock in it doesn't crust up so that means your hair can still move and you will need to fix it so keep a good um, pocket comb with you um, other than that, like it rinses out completely and so overall like I do prefer this out of the other two cool grease products we've looked at. And so actually this one actually does receive my seal of approval because it's just a well balanced product. I wanted to see how far we can get along in terms of the hold before we start losing that like uh, characteristic that it doesn't dry up. And so I think this is as, um, as hard as the Cool Grease um, line can get. We'll try out the Cool Wax tomorrow, I believe. I think it's called the Cool Wax, but we'll be looking at one of their wax products tomorrow. Um, but other than that, like, take care, guys. This has been a review for Cool Grease Z. And yeah, one more thing, though. Um, as you guys have noticed on the Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr, Lockhearts and I are having um, 
a Thanksgiving giveaway of the 16 ounce product, go to those respective uh, social media sites for instruction on how to compete. I just wanted to let you guys know on YouTube since I'm not really sure where you guys are following also the Instagram, Facebook, or the Tumblr. But yeah, so have a good night, guys. Cool Greasy, highly recommend it. Check it out on Hedge Lion, of course. And that'd be probably, that might be your only way of getting your hands on it. I have not seen it anywhere else in the US. But yeah, take care, guys, and good night.